Hello everybody and welcome to Your Programming Network's new series of tutorials on Java. Uh, now I've got uh, Greg with me today, he is a amazing Java developer uh, who's come along to help out and teach us all a bit Java. So I'm just going to be producing, uh, you get to hear a beautiful new voice. Uh, so Greg, if you want to get started. Okay, um, so we're going to start off with setting up your environment. Uh, to do that, you're going to need to download two things. First of all, the Eclipse IDE, which you can get from this website, which we're going to put in the description. Um, you just got It's going to be this first option here. Just choose whether you've got a 32-bit or a 64-bit. And click this arrow, and it will start a download. We've already done it, because it does take a little while. And while that's downloading, you also need to download a JDK from this website, which we'll also put in the description. Uh, you're going to need to select this first one, accept the license agreement, and choose whichever one you're going to download. We're using Windows 64 bit, so we will download this one. Um, so once it's downloaded, which it has here, just kick it off by clicking it, accepting that. The setup is pretty standard, just click next, next, let it install. This will take a few moments. Okay, so you can choose where you want it to install to, which is going to go with the default here. Uh, so when you get to the screen, just close it. Click next steps, just going to open the documentation. You don't need to do that. Um, okay, so now that's the JDK installed, and hopefully now your Eclipse download is finished. So I want to open up our downloads folder. Uh, here it is, and it's going to give you a zip file. All you need to do is right click that and click extract. And that's going to put it into its own folder like we have here. So double click on that, double click on that, and you'll see this Eclipse icon uh, with the file type application. Just double click on this, and that's going to open up Eclipse. So when you create a new project, it's going to go into a workspace. It's just a file, uh, a folder you can use to store your different projects. Just click OK with the default one. That's fine. Uh, so if everything installed correctly, you're going to see a window like this. Uh, if it didn't and you've got some sort of error message, just post it in the comments below or, and me and Matt will try and help you as fast as we can. Uh, stay tuned for the next uh, lesson where we'll write our first application.